All right, so today we're looking at readers reread to help understand what they have read. This is actually a pretty important concept when it comes to reading because a lot of times students and just people in general will blow through a text. They just keep on going. And then you ask them at the end, okay, what do you remember? Or what did you learn from reading this? And then they look at you and they go, I don't know. Or they can give you like a really simple answer. And they can't really explain all the details of what actually happened. And that is because what happens is we go into, and I'm pretty sure I've said this before, you go into autopilot sometimes. And you just start reading words. You're not really thinking about what's happening or what's going on. You just start saying or reading words. The other issue that happens is when you don't understand, sometimes you just keep on going and you don't bother to try to stop and figure out what's going on and see what's happening, right? And try to understand it. And when that happens, do you think when you get to the end of the story or the end of the text, if you're reading a newspaper or something like that, that you're gonna be able to understand what happened? The answer is no, you're not, because you, you haven't stopped to try to figure it out. So today we're gonna to be going over strategies and sharing some things that we learned that maybe you've learned from your experience reading to understand or to try to remember what happened in a story or what happened or what you were supposed to learn from a text. So how to make sense out of reading. Think about what you already know to figure out what you don't know. So these are strategies here that you, these are common ones that people will use. So you think about what you already know to figure out what you don't know. So maybe you don't know exactly what, uh, let's see, like maybe you're reading a science article and they're talking about tsunamis and you don't know what a tsunami is, but you do know what flooding is. So you can kind of compare the two and maybe use what you know about flooding to help you understand what a tsunami is. Okay, you kind of understand what I'm getting at there. Another strategy is reread the sentence or paragraph. Sometimes we don't feel motivated to do this, but this is actually a pretty good idea to do. If you stop yourself after a little bit and you go, "What? wait a minute, I have no idea what we just, what I just read. I could not tell you. A good idea would be to go back and reread the sentence or reread the paragraph and maybe slow down. Read a little slower, think a little bit more deeply about the words. Keep reading to make sense out of what you have read. So maybe it doesn't make sense in the moment, but in the next paragraph, they will answer your question. They'll answer what doesn't make sense to you. And it's just been laid out that way in the way that the writer wrote the text. So sometimes reading on can help you. But if the reading on doesn't help you, go back to this one reread the sentence or paragraph and see if it helps. And then of course, another strategy you can do is ask for help. You can ask if you're at home, you can ask your parents, you can ask the teacher if you're at school, maybe you have a friend that's nearby that might be able to help you understand what's going on, and you can ask them for help. All right, so those are just some of the strategies you can use to understand or seek understanding when you don't know what's going on. So let's go ahead and cover some more ideas. Go ahead and share with me. What are some strategies you use to check your understanding when you're reading through a text? Zoe? So you're saying another another text that you've read, a connecting text? Yeah. Okay. So this is, and Zoe actually hit one of our little strategies here, making connections, right? 
So you can make a connection to yourself, you can make a connection to the world, or you can make a connection to another text. And in this case, Zoe's saying, if I know something about another story or another book that's on a similar topic, I can maybe make a connection there, and that could help me understand what is going on in the story or in the text if it's informational, right? Okay, so that's a strategy we can use. Anything else that you guys use when you're trying to understand? <laughs> One student did something yesterday that kind of keyed in seeking to understand. They asked me if they could use a dictionary for a word. Wasn't that you, Zoe? Yeah, so maybe it's a word you don't know, and that word is very important to understanding the sentence. You need a dictionary or a resource like that to understand could be helpful, right? So we'll go ahead and write that down. Okay, and anything else? This could be something that you personally do, okay? Doesn't just have to be something that we talked about. Any other strategies you can think of? Marcos? Asking for help. Yep, asking for help. Any other ways to try to understand what's being said in the text when you don't understand? be hard to come up with more ideas, right? Especially when we just had four that we mentioned off in the last one, right? Okay, we'll move on. So yeah, when we are looking at, looking to make understanding of something, we can be connecting to our text, we can be using a dictionary for words we don't know. Some other things is we could be visualizing in our mind, maybe imagine what's being described to help you understand, can also be asking questions. You could be asking yourself some questions and then maybe do some research on that question to see if you can find an answer to it. Amelia? Okay, so you're gonna try to put what you read in your own words. Okay, so let's go ahead and break that down then. That is a good idea. If you have a, a strong uh, vocabulary or you kind of understand what they're saying, but the words that they're using don't quite make sense, like maybe they're using the word illustrate and you said you would use the word draw or something like that, you could maybe replace that word and that might help you understand what they're saying. All right, that's a good idea. Anything else before we move on? Okay. So today, one of your tasks is going to be writing down in your mini lesson response what kind of strategy you use to understand when you're reading, okay? Or you need to reread a text, all right? So I would like you to list those off. We kind of listed off a few here, and then in the previous slide, we listed off another four. So that's seven right there. I'm sure you use at least one or two of those strategies. So remember to put that in your mini lesson response. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down real quick. Well, first of all, I'm going to turn off my video. 